Um, real fast, let's do top three. Real fast, top three Alfreds, and go. Just just run right through it. Top three. Top three Alfreds. Uh, Irons, original, and I feel bad because I can never remember his name. Uh, Michael from Goh. eight. Yeah, and Michael Kane. Yeah, I gotta go. Um, man, I gotta go. Michael Kane. Then I gotta go. Uh, Jeremy Irons, and then I gotta go. Michael Go. Michael Go. He just he. I just <laughs> a. He came first. B. It's a st- It's nostalgia. And see, it's I just love that pop proper like penguin suit, you know, you know he just feels like the most proper. I think Jeremy Irons is my number two because he's a very good mix of everything: proper combat. He helps Batman, like, you know, like it's the simple things, like when in uh, 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 Zack Snyder's Justice League, when Diana's trying to make coffee, he's like, no, no, that's my job. Like he just he takes pride. Like I, don't, I just the more the subtle details pop out. Like I love. Uh, um, uh, uh oh, let's see there i go now i forget names uh um uh oh ben affleck or not ben affleck uh, christian michael. bale and uh michael kane michael i like michael kane a lot it just i don't know i just like the others better i guess i don't know there's, there's really nothing negative to say about it he wasn't in rises very much i think he was he was great he was great he really was um so that was easy so let's go paul wanted to know if we're going to do the uh bruce waynes let's blow through the bruce waynes real fast we already talked about him a little bit through the batmans you go let's blow. yeah <laughs> i saw you smile i saw you smile um you go you go just just go right through them go right through them honestly it's going to be the same as my batman ranking <laughs> uh-oh okay well that's easy wow that's that's the first for for JK. That's the that's the easiest one on here. Now maybe I can do the same thing. Hang on. Yeah. Hold on. Let's see. Oh no. Yeah. Mm. I think I'm gonna have to shift. So, you know, I'm actually gonna put Pattinson's Batman as uh, Bruce Wayne is probably the lowest. And that's not really a negative. I just don't have enough of it to justify going anywhere else. And that's not a that's not a slight. That's just where he falls for me. Then I gotta go. Um, I'm gonna go Clooney next because Clooney didn't have a whole lot to do. I mean, he was at the um, the, the the telescope thing and he did a couple other things. It was okay. Um, then I'm gonna go Wes. He was okay. Bruce Wayne, he had a good. He felt very proper, clean cut. I love the uh, the like the the golf course look he always had, like that. I don't know, I don't know what it's called, but the style. I like his style. Um, then I'm gonna go, Kilmer. No, you know what? No, then I'm gonna go Michael Keaton. I think I'm gonna go Michael Keaton, uh, because Michael Keaton just didn't have a whole lot to do as Bruce Wayne. There's some in Batman Returns, but not a lot. Like he's just not really there. So then I'm gonna go Keaton. Um, then I'm gonna go Kilmer. Ben Affleck, and I give Ben Affleck the edge just because he runs into that building as Bruce Wayne. He's, like, lifting stuff off of him. You know what I mean? He's got a little bit on there. I think that one scene really helps. Then I'm going to go Christian Bell is number one. I don't think I missed any. Yeah, so it did switch a little bit, but not much. I mean, yeah. and, and yeah. you know, the Bruce Wayne's – there's there's good things about each of them. I don't think anybody just plays a horrible Bruce Wayne, so that's good. Let's see yeah. what we got here going on here. So we got me, Paul's coming. Oh, sorry. Oh, go for it. I was just going to say, Paul's got uh, Keaton is number three, Christian Bale is number two, and Val Kilmer is number one. All right. Yeah, Val Kilmer does a really good job. I think, like I mm-hmm. said, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm, just, maybe I'm just mesmerized by his lips, and I can't see past it. I don't know. Um, let's see. Keaton got below Deb. Clooney. Yeah, Keaton. Ouch. Yeah, that hurts. But Keaton didn't have a whole lot to do, to be fair. It's not that he was bad. He just didn't have a whole lot to do. Then we got Clooney, Kilmer, and Bale for, for Deb. Kilmer and Bale. Okay. Okay. That, man, my boy uh, Ben Affleck ain't getting any love, man. He ran into a falling building. All the dust. And he gets it for me. So for me, it goes West, then Clooney, then Kilmer, then Battinson, yep. then Keaton. 
then my boy Ben Affleck, and then Bale. It sticks to my Batman ranking. It just, it, I mean, it's part of the characterization. It's a dual character. So, I mean, I would give, I would maybe switch Affleck and Bale just because Bruce Wayne in Batman vs. Superman and Zack Snyder's Justice League is the Bruce Wayne that I want to see more. But then again, that's also the Bruce Wayne in The Dark Knight Rises. He's tattered, he's torn, he's done, he's tired. He, he He's trying to hang up the cow. He wants to be done. Or he's going to kill himself doing it. That's like literally the whole plot, um, which is why we don't see much of Michael Caine in the movie. Um, spoiler? <laughs> see, uh, I, I want to bring up something that Deb said real quick. She says, I, I don't like Keaton's hair, and Clooney was cute. True story of the Clooney. But Keaton, see, this is interesting because men – as bald dudes, we men know when dudes are just trying to save what's left and they're combing it over or they're sticking it up just enough or, you know, they always wear a hat just right or something like that. And we pretend in our brains that women don't know or that they're, they're happy that the dude's still trying. That's not true. Women know. They know, like Deb said, because Michael Keaton was going bald and they were filling in his hair um just like the dude off of two and a half men um i can't remember his name but charlie's co-host but but women know men yeah. like you like to pretend they don't no. they know like i i don't know the hair doesn't bug me as much because uh, i mean i mean they're not i hope they're not going to put a wig on keaton for the flash and bat woman or bat girl or whatever god it would suck um and uh, i don't think I you mean, have to I, yeah it depends on now, if you want don't to try get me wrong because yeah, if they're going to go full-on, like, old, grizzled Bruce Wayne, seeing him with short, balding hair might be a little weird, but at the same time, I mean, it happens. We go bald. 